Joining us now on MSUEagles.com, the head women's basketball coach at Moorhead State, Greg Todd. And Coach, you ran into a really good squad here on Saturday evening in Martin, Tennessee. The UT Martin Skyhawks are a 99-70 winner over your Moorhead State Eagles. Just give us your opening thoughts. We'll ask you a few questions after that. Sure. I felt like we, we came out offensively. I think we uh, got the, uh, the, the tip and, and scored the first two out of three times we had the ball. We were down 9-4. to four And... Uh, uh, they just got so so many ways that they can score, and 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 we knew if they're if they're making threes the way they did tonight, uh, they're very very difficult to stop because you've got probably the the toughest matchup inside in the in the conference. And Asia Jones, she had another 30, 30 point performance tonight. So you, you you can't take away everything they have, and when they're shooting the ball in like they did from three point land, uh, it, it's tough. You know, we we could have. Uh, Cut down on a few of our turnovers tonight, and uh, could have, could have made a few better decisions. But I thought offensively, it, it wasn't uh, wasn't the worst we've been. We, we we need to continue to get better as we get into uh, January. But uh, you know, give give them credit uh, defensively. I thought we played a, a good game against Semo tonight. Uh, part of it was their good play. We kept them off the free throw line. We out rebounded them. Uh, but uh, w when you make 16 threes, 48 points there, and then you throw in another 30 from Asia Jones, they don't need a whole lot uh, to, to go with, uh, with those 78, with just with those uh, two components of threes and, and Asia, who doesn't hit any threes. Right. You mentioned their three-point shooting, 16 of 37 for 43 percent. Talk about your game plan coming in on the defensive side of the ball and maybe what the Skyhawks did to counter that and take advantage. Well, we, we basically do. they were a great three-point shooting team. So we, we took uh, one player, one, one off their starting five and one off of, uh, of their second line players and tried to double Asia off of, off of that. But they, uh, uh, they just were really on fire. And, and a couple times when we helped, helped off, uh, Asia found, found the open player. So they, they, were, they were just uh, very, very difficult the way they came out and, and, and shot the ball. And, uh, we tried to crowd them on the three-point line, uh, but they're they're big. On top of uh, uh, being great shooters, uh, they're five eleven, five eight, five ten. Uh, so they're very very tall out on the on the perimeter, and uh, makes makes it tough. They can skip pass, and uh, very very tough to guard. I know there are no, no moral victories in Division One women's basketball, but I thought your team continued to fight and claw. They could have folded up the tent early in this one, but. I saw some sparks and some good things in the second half. Would you agree with that? Well, thanks. I, I felt like uh, the, the, about midway through the second half, we, we really brought in our team that sometimes finishes games if we're a few points behind. Uh, we, we, we brought in an athletic pressing team. We, we just aren't able to go for long periods with, with, a, with a pressing team. And I thought that team really had, uh, had them on their heels, did, did a really good job for probably a four or five minute stretch. I know we, uh, uh, we, were, we were winning the game at, uh, for that period of time, but then I think we, we ran out of gas uh, there and then uh, tried, to, tried to finish it up the best, best we could. But we've uh, typically continued to fight, and I think uh, uh, you know, if we've got any chance to be in Nashville, which I think we, we do if we continue to, to get better, we've got to, got to play every possession. So I was, I was proud that uh, we continue to do that. Shea Steele tonight, 19 points, 7 rebounds, 4 block shots. Played particularly well in the first half. Just kind of assess her play for us, if you would. I, I think Shea is, is one, of the, one of the top sophomores in the league. She uh, has continued to work on her right hand. She needs to get better rebounding the basketball. And she had a double-double last game and 7 rebounds tonight. She's getting better in that area. Uh, she uh, is a very athletic post and, and someone that we, we feel like uh, has got a bright future here. Natalie Greenwell, 17 points off the bench and eight rebounds. I believe that was a career high in just 19 minutes. And talk about the lift she tried to give you in the second half. Well, I felt like she gave us a big spark, uh, penetrating in, into their defense, drawing fouls, and uh, sort of challenged our other athletic guards that, hey, Young lady with two two ACL tears and, and a meniscus surgery just recently. If she can be this tough, uh, I think it was it was an inspiration to the rest of our girls and hopefully uh, something that they can see that uh, we, we need to continue to to be able to get to the basket. And I felt like uh, that, that's a strength of our team and it, it certainly uh, helped us tonight. You probably haven't looked too far ahead, but SIU Edwardsville comes to Johnson Arena. 
on Thursday and then your squad will host Eastern Illinois in a Saturday matinee. Just how important is it to protect the home court and, and uh, really play well in front of the home fans? I think we've got to come out very focused. Edwardsville's playing uh, extremely well. There's no, no question about that. And I think you take them one, one game at a time. Eastern Illinois will, will be a tough challenge on Saturday as well. But I think uh, at this point you take them one at a time. On, on the Thursday, Saturday setups similar to what the men have during the year, I think you have more preparation time on that Thursday game similar to what we had with SEMO versus uh, Martin. You may look at doing a couple things for Eastern Illinois during the first part of the week. You sort of get a glance at both, but you, you have to spend 98% of your time on, on, the, on the task at hand. And, and uh, SIU, Edwardsville will be a, be a very tough matchup. They're playing, uh, playing great uh, this year, and we, uh, we know we'll have a tough challenge. Again, the final score tonight in Martin, Tennessee, UT Martin 99, Moorhead State 70. We've been visiting with head coach Greg Todd from the women's program. Coach, thanks as always for your time, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. All right.